the European roadmap towards the fusion electricity. One introduction. There is a general understanding that mankind needs to strongly reduce its reliance on fossil fuels for energy generation. Partly, this necessity necessity arises from the limited available fossil fuel resources, but more importantly, from the CO2 emissions, which are the main driver behind global warming and climate change. Many governments are at present strongly investing in renewable energy sources such as wind and solar, but due to the intermittent nature of these sources, in combination with the lack of efficient storage options, the share these renewable sources can have in the energy mix is limited, thanks to enormous subsidies for solar and wind energy in Germany amounting to an average 25 billion per year in recent years. Wind and solar contribute nowadays to about 40% of the German electricity mix. However, surprisingly, this has had a negligible effect on CO2 emissions due to electricity generation. The reason for this is that large-scale backup plants are needed for the majority of the days. That there is not enough wind or sun since unclear plants are also being phased out in Germany after the Fukushima event in 2011. The reliance on fossil fuels as a backup source has become even stronger. Developing paper Developing proper storage options for intermittent sources that can cope with both the nocturnal as well as the seasonal variations will certainly improve the situation, nevertheless, even with the best possible storage means and making use of a European super grid, the relative contribution of renewables to the electricity mix is estimated to be still limited to a maximum of about 60%. This is in line with the IPCC special report on renewable energy sources and climate change mitigation that says more than half of the Scenarios show a contribution from renewable energies in excess of a 70% share of primary energy supply in 2030, rising to more than 27% in 2050. The scenarios with the highest renewable energy share reach approximately 43% in 2030 and 77 in 2050. To further reduce the use age of fossil fuels for generation electricity, one needs more option than are presently considered in the renewable energy mix. There is therefore room and possibility need for nuclear energy as part of the energy mix. Fission or fusion, nuclear fusion has the advantage that the full constituents, deuterium and lithium, are available in inexhaustible quantities that there are no long life waste products and that the process is inherently safe. Nuclear fusion is the energy source of the sun and it works however it has the disadvantages that it is very difficult to create an efficient fusion reactor on Earth. According to the European Fusion Roadmap, 
nuclear fusion will not be realized by 2050, but it has the potential to significantly contribute to the energy mix in the long term and especially to provide electricity in densely populated country con countries and highly industrialized areas where land scarcity hampers the utilization of intermittent sources. Given the very possible prospect of nuclear fusion in 2012, Europe drafted the European Fusion Roadmap to the realization of fusion energy. The fusion roadmap describes in detail the research that needs to be done to raise a foundation for a fusion power plant based on detailed ass assessments and reviews. An overview has been made of the status of the field and the open changes. And the resource load loaded research plan has been drafted to address these. The fusion roadmap is broken up into eight missions changes, which will be briefly described in this paper.